How do they say, now you see it, now you don't? Massive hole. Mm. What the hell are you doing, man? <laughs> I feel like I'm ripping the band-aid off. Mm. <laughs> oh, Lisa Lisa's destroying the camper. Welcome to our channel. We're Andre and Lisa. Over the last 20 years, we have traveled together to more than 40 countries. Five years ago, we embarked on a long-term sabbatical and have been nomadic ever since. For most of the past two years, we have been exploring Western Europe with our motorhome. This year, we plan to make our way through more of Europe towards Denmark for summer. We'll be heading south for winter and just maybe make it to Morocco. So hit that subscribe button and join our adventure. Welcome back to our channel guys. We are in the north of Germany. We're on our way to Denmark. If you haven't seen our previous video, I don't know what happened to our previous video. I think we're just racing through Germany to get here. Now the good thing about coming into Germany is that there are loads and loads of places like this available. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, almost worth it. Wow, definitely, definitely worth it. But now we had a friend's place, very close to the Baltic, like a stone's throw actually. We're gonna do a few things to the van. We have to remove the air conditioner, but you have to wait to know why. And Lisa's doing some other horrible things, which may or may not be a problem. I'm stripping money. So anyway, so in this video, we are gonna see a little bit of the area in between destroying our van. This gets cracking. So we've had this love-hate relationship with this color scheme of this poor van. I hate it. Nobody loves it. Orange has been threatening to just remove the stickers, but they leave horrible marks because of the sun fading, despite <laughs> the stickiness. Well, the problem is when we bought the van, the dealership was kind enough to restore or attempt to restore some of the original signing. And you can see there's some like hand cut stickery things here. Because there was damaged bodywork. Uh, so they fixed the bodywork up and they wanted to yeah, make it look original again. So we're going to take off all the yellow and blue, no matter what. No matter what, we're going to take off all the yellow and blue. We're going to polish the front up nice and clean so it looks good. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to do a test paint. Maybe. Maybe. It's going to be a long term project. I don't think we're going to get it done in one day or one day or one week. So we'll see how it goes. First, let's take the stickers off. So, while the rest of Europe is on summer vacation for August, this is going to be our August project. It's going to be a lot of effort to get this thing off. So, don't, don't, don't. Fail. <laughs> Discovering some uh, hidden surprises. That's quite a hole. That was a serious hole, eh? That's why there are these ghastly stickers. Someone made these stickers afterwards. How are we going to cover that? Okay, we're still busy with project number one, which is mm -hmm, destroying the outside of the van. There's another project. In two years, we've used them, I don't know, twice. Because we need electric power to use them. So we decided out. It's 35 kilograms. And we're rather going to put a vent in here to give us more light and a bit of more airflow. Now that should actually fit straight into the same hole. Fingers crossed. This guy's gonna come out. First part is easy. That's not too bad. Oh, pretty. Uh, this is the control panel cable. This is the main power coming from the motorhome. Not sure what happened here. Yeah, maybe there was a light here or something. 395. What do these guys say? 390. I guess 2430. That'll work. How do they say, now you see it, now you don't? Giant aircon gone. Massive hole. Mm. I suspect there was actually a... Some of the vent here, because still even the screw holes here. So if I'm lucky, I'll be able to pop that guy in here. Maybe I'll have to trim this a little bit. So close though. What if I just get a hammer? Who's having fun out here on a camper? I'm starting rumors. You're not having fun? Okay, so we're going to seal around him as well, and once he's completely dry, we'll do the Tenabon tape around him. It's happening! <laughs> what is happening, Lisa? I'm so excited. Looks so fancy and nice. They don't supply any screws, but they give you a spare, one spare cap. They mm. don't supply any screws, no. they tanks, Grandma. Yeah. But look at this! Look at this! Look, I'm not a huge fan of these vents for now. No, but this is an affordable way to add more light. 
Oh, I'm not allowed to ask that. What's happening, dear? Oh, seeing as you're touching up the paint there around the fan, you know, there was supposed to be a small trimming. Oh, let's just paint the ceiling in the bathroom while you're busy. Well, this is going to have to take three coats, you know that. But it's going to look so nice. Ta da! A few of you have been asking how the bathroom turned out and for the promised bathroom video. We'll ask Andre to pop in a before picture so you can see what this bathroom looked like when we first got it. The first thing we did was to add some stickers to the walls to make that look a little bit better. We took off everything that was yellow and we spray painted that grey, added a nice grey shower curtain and then of course the masterpiece of this bathroom right now is our separate toilet which we are very very happy with almost six months later. We can't imagine doing off-grid van life without this thing. And our latest addition, our brand new basin and countertop. What I love about this is that it isn't all plasticky and doesn't feel like a camper van. Yes, it's not perfect, but in my mind it's perfect. We've got an easy to clean countertop. We've got a nice new tap. And this is what our sink looks like. We do get a couple of drips of water because the tap is not within the basin, but even with that, this countertop is so much easier to clean than the previous old plastic one, which had a lot of grooves and which really was a pain to clean. We got a new soap dispenser and that's our Titan fans, which we've got in our ordinary Fiamma vent on the top. So these two fans we can switch on, they can blow in and out. And what's really nice is you can set them to various speeds and also put a timer on them. So and the last thing to, to complete the new bathroom picture is we took out our ghastly gold light that was over there and we've got a nice new light as well as having painted the ceiling white which really makes a world of difference. I can also show you some other cool things like the fact that we've got multiple lights. We've got a main bathroom light which illuminates a lot. Then we've got a nighttime get up in the night light which is just three blue LEDs so that you don't wake up too much when you get up in the night. We've also added a shower light so that you can actually see what you're doing in the shower. And we have a brushing your teeth light. I think that's probably the most different lights that any camper bathroom has. But we like the versatility. We have something that's a little bit strange. In the beginning, we did not have enough electricity for me to be able to plug in a hairdryer. We have this little pipe up here, which we can attach to our heating system. Hot air will blow out of here, and I can use it as a some sort of a hairdryer. Works pretty well. And that concludes your bathroom tour. How do you know we're in Germany? Traffic. We didn't get to everything we wanted to do while we were staying at friends. The weather's been horrible, but in a way it's good because actually my recovery from our little incident <laughs> falling over each other. In our previous video, it's dragged on a lot longer than I thought, and my ankle is actually still swollen. But the sun's out this morning, there's a lot of wind. We're heading to Fairmont and hopefully we're gonna have a kite surfing session today without killing ourselves. <laughs> And we're perhaps going to stay over on the island actually. Very beautiful <laughs> island, they call it the Sunshine Island of Germany. On average, it's got the most sunny days than any other part of Germany. Yeah, I think it's five or six. <laughs> <laughs> Today's one of them. <laughs> made it onto the bridge. Oh, bridge. bridge. This is definitely more cycle friendly roads than camper friendly roads. Oh, this is a good road. Okay, I don't want to go anywhere. I got to go to the right. You know, all roads are gone. Destination is on the left. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the and we that's the bridge we drove over. This is the spot that we're going to be kiting at now. Last and year we stayed here. Uh, here somewhere. 
And we cycled all the way around. This was quite a cycle. Then we made our way across here and got horribly lost. And then we took the ferry last year from Putgarden over to Sweden. No to Denmark. Yeah. It might be a big mistake. As our last kite was in uh, South Africa in March. At least the sun is out because these Northern Europeans, they kite in all sorts of weather. <laughs> Come rain, it doesn't matter. If there's wind, they will kite. And we're not exactly used to these cold conditions. But today is actually a very nice day. Sun is shining, it's a perfect amount of wind. And I think Andre is gonna be very happy to be back on the water. Even if he's gonna be very sore tomorrow, hopefully he doesn't hurt his ankle or his back too much. You can see he's having so much fun. That's really cool. How was that? <laughs> Amazing. I, uh, I always forget how cold this part of the world is. Uh, uh, we think the water around Cape Town is icy, but this stuff is mad. But it was good. Uh, one thing I noticed, it seems like windsurfing is making a comeback. There's more windsurfers and kitesurfers out here, which is amazing, actually. It's the first kite for the season in Europe. So I'll take it. An all too familiar picture. Little for the last time. We are about to leave Germany. So we're gonna fill up fuel, we're gonna get some up the G, we're gonna buy as much groceries as we can possibly fit. <laughs> Elisa. Yes, as much ice cream as we can fit in the freezer. Germany will be our last ice cream stop for a long time. Mm. No, just joking. So we still gotta make it across the border, find a place to stay for the night. Some rain coming later, but from next week it seems like it's much better weather so I'm looking forward to that there's lots of shops around us we got a little an Aldi and, and a Edika that side yeah. so we can uh, stock up on everything we need so come 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 let's go let's go uh, feel my enthusiasm for shopping okay. let's do it let's do it there's a DHL collection box uh. I get to a point where I'm like, oh, oh, this is impossible, man, it's impossible. But eventually, I figured out, like, you first got to tackle the fridge, and normally there's more space in the fridge, and you can put some other vegetables in the fridge. Nightmare. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. Oh, it's five o'clock. Shopping done. We still have to get fuel and LPG. Bye, little. Little. Everybody. Thanks, LD. Thanks, if you got it. Guys. Ooh, autogas is actually 99 cents, that's not bad at all. 1719 per litre, not too bad. Definitely cheaper than it is in Denmark. I think it's about 190 a litre in Denmark at the moment. And then while we're here, we're also going to be able to get autogas or LPG. Because as you can see, our little sensor at the bottom of our gas bottle tells us that we've only got 16% LPG left. Denmark, there are very, very few LPG or GPL or autogas stations. And in fact, we've even got a spare bottle, our Italian bottle, to last us while we're in Denmark, and then we'll get rid of that bottle. That will also save some weight. Okay. So we got 12 days to do our stop. The joys of motor living. Where are we going to stay tonight, dear? No idea. No idea. It's like, what, 620? It's okay. Like, we've been doing this long enough. But we want to get a local SIM card because we're going to be in Denmark for a while now. We keep using our EU roaming data and it's pretty expensive actually. Mm. So we're going to try and get a local SIM. Apparently in Denmark it's not that hard. This is across the border and sea because you can get 7-Elevens gas stations anyway. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Wow, I don't think there's a whole border here.
about yeah. The blizzard's on you sit by every day and you postpone <gasps> and a sim card. So this is a sim card, 29 krona. Not sure what you're going to get for it. You're going to stick it in the phone and then buy some credit online. So is it for you? Is this for me or for you? <laughs> I don't know. It <laughs> just smells. Okay, let's go find a place to park. Yes. Thank you, Neto. How can anybody not love Denmark? Look at this place. In 300 meters, the destination will be on the right. And most parking areas in Denmark, you are allowed to overnight for the purpose of resting. So you really should not stay for more than 24 hours. In fact, you should arrive late and leave early. And you should not make yourself at home or act in a camping like fashion. No idea what to expect, yeah. Level check. It's a technicality. You see, you're not allowed to use chocks or stabilizers or wedges, but we just happened to drive onto this piece of wood that was here uh, accidentally, and that has very conveniently leveled us. Winning! On, on, fridge on. He's, apparently, he's is hungry, so let's make some food. Super quick meal tonight because uh, somebody's hungry. So it's just like this is the advantage of going to the shop uh, so we can uh, get some fresh salmon. Because I don't think we can afford salmon in Denmark, unfortunately. And it's expensive in Germany, but not as expensive as in Denmark. <laughs> and so, just tomato salad so, and some white wine. We are gonna have some. Cheers. I think we should end the vlog here. Yeah. Really? Tomorrow morning I'll show you where we are. Okay. We'll end the vlog here. Yeah. Good night. Cheers. Good night. Maybe something exciting happens tonight, you never know. Denmark after all. That's true. Good morning. Quickly gonna take a job to Germany. <laughs> That's something we do every day. No, I haven't actually ran on this fat oh. ankle. <laughs> what has always happened? It's slightly wet this morning, but gotta get out. Ready? Yes. Let's go. Completely quiet. It's all a bit spooky. It is. Look at this place. Look at those bricks. Then on the far side, across the water, you can actually see Flensburg. The full part of Flensburg on that side. Oh. We should get to the border right now. There we go. Stop here for a second. This is it, look at this, official border crossing. Oh, official. This is so crazy. Like you can see a little bridge. Oh my word. Yeah. Where's your papers, miss? <laughs> and here's a little plaque. <laughs> yeah, you can read the story. I think there's one on the other side too, should we go check? Good morning, sons. Okay, stupidly, I took a camera with a very flat battery for our run, so I couldn't fully document the crossing the border back into Germany. But we are back in Denmark again, so that's good. Yay! The bad news is the weather is looking horrible for today, but the good news is it's looking better from tomorrow. And besides, you've got editing to do today, and it's not bad to have a little bit of a down day every now and then. I know this video has been all over the shop. I don't even know what happened in the last week few days no idea it's so it's really been a little bit unplanned and chaotic yeah so thanks for sticking with us we're a little bit later a bit than late. we expected to be oh, one man. week later than we expected but we did make it to denmark and i'm really hoping the sun's going to come out and that denmark is going to be as incredible as i remember it from yeah, last year exactly we got uh, at least three weeks here at least it's got a bit of a Surprise trip planned uh, beginning of September, so we still have some time. But as always, thank you for watching, and we hope that you at least stuck it out with us in this one. If you want to see more of our motorhome travels through Denmark for the next month, please subscribe and smash that like button. And leave us a comment. Leave us a comment, and we'll see you guys in Denmark next time. Ciao. Bye. Uh, just one more thing. Give us your thoughts on... What are you doing with a motorhome? Oh gosh, or don't. <laughs> it's a work in progress. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.